Hey, Andrew Haichu, this one's for you, buddy. I know it's one of your favorites. For everybody else, this is a Passport 2920 bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 5,450 pounds. Exceptionally lightweight, yet it's a full-size trailer. We've got a, a big, long bunkhouse with a big super slide, private rear bunks, and, uh, you know, you get more for less in a Passport, and that sounds like one of those cheesy, cliched things, but but hear me out, you're gonna get more trailer for less weight, like, and this is how. They don't use cheap materials, they're using better materials, like all aluminum skeletons and whatnot. Uh, we're using uh, bigger baggage doors on a Passport, you know, you can actually get big, uh, like, uh, folding chairs in here. You don't have to just be relegated purely to, to bag chairs, unless you like that sort of thing, then you just got more room for them. So, you know, how you're thinking, well, if they're using better materials, then how is it less on the price tag? That's because it's equipped more intelligently. Passports are built with exactly what you need and exactly uh, nothing you don't. You know, it's just no nonsense. They're very streamlined. So, you know, the stuff that really matters is all here. The stuff that doesn't, not so much. And if you hang with me, you're going to see that. Here's one of those things that really matters. We've got an enclosed forced air heated underbelly. And passports, though I, I can't tell you it's a true Four Seasons coach because really no lightweights are, they hold their cabin temperatures extremely well in cold camping scenarios. Um, the uh, windows here, they are all larger for airflow, and uh, they, they are the sliding windows to give you more airflow, and they're UV tinted, and that keeps the RV cooler inside because you're knocking down 80% of um, solar radiation. Uh, and you talk to anybody, you don't always want to run the AC. There's a lot of times you just want the windows open and you want that fresh air. Other things that matter, outside utility shower, black tank flush, you're gonna get those on a Passport. Um, this is really cool. This is a nice thing that they add on here. A lot of manufacturers have gone away from a bunkhouse storage garage feature. And Passport did it nicely. They made the bed self-supporting. A lot of these uh, things, you have to push the bed up then there's these little silver tabs you have to slot into a Luan wall that really aren't good for holding a lot of weight. They include a gas strut right here to make this easy. They're even giving you um, LED lighting in here for your cargo area. So, you know, when you do have all that big bulky stuff you want to take with you, you've got the perfect place for it. Then once it's unloaded and you're back on your campsite, that's it. That's all there is to it. I love these little teddy bear bunk mats. If I remember right, Andrew Haichu's sister was really going crazy about him too. <laughs> yeah, in case you folks are wondering, Andrew Haichu is a young man who is apparently a, a big fan of the work that I do here. And to the point that he can quote almost everything I say and he can recognize trailers from their exterior just based off our video tours here. He was very impressive. He's a young man who could have a, a big career. Um, the uh, Back here... What's really neat about this Passport is that usually when you get an outside kitchen in a quad bunk, uh, four bunk trailer, you actually have to actually sacrifice a bunk and actually have a triple bunk. Um, well, Passport found a way around that. They have this thing situated so that you still get an outside kitchen. You still get good outside kitchen counter space. We've got our little cooktop out here. The sink does have hot and cold water options. We have more uh, countertop space here. It telescopes in and out as you need it. We still have the mini fridge so you can keep your water and barley pop outside where they're handy. Um, you know, you tell kids it's barley pop so they stay away from it, not normal pop. <laughs> And uh, you don't lose anything. You still have maximum sleeping space inside. That's what's really cool about this. Um, the uh, awning here does have LED lights at the base. And uh, it's just an easy one-touch power awning. Because, again, something you're going to use every single day. So they make sure that they put the right money in there. Now, what's also neat is this is an easy pitch adjust Solera power awning. What that means is that when the awning comes out, if you want to pitch it, because it's like drizzly or rainy a little bit, you can take literally two fingers and pull down one of the arms. It will pitch and it will stay there. And you don't even have to push it back up to roll the awning in. The other thing is it's uh, compartmentalized and modular. You can replace individual components on this. It's not a full-on awning swap situation as is the industry standard. Also, wide stance stability axles because, again, passports are RVs for people that go, people that do, not people that sit. Having the axles spread further apart eases the bouncing going down the road and it makes the trailer just kind of move real smooth. That means the suspension on the trailer, the, the running gear, and your vehicle's brakes, drivetrain, suspension, not to mention your ride in the vehicle is superior as a result. 
um, you know, bigger entry handle, because again, you're going to use it every day. The things you use are here, the things you don't are not. That's what's important in a passport. We still have a great LED lighting package. It's even all on one switch, so it makes a heck of a big difference. Um, it's just that little user-friendly convenience type thing. Uh, we still have central air. We still have central heat. We have a big dinette. We have a big super slide. We have everything that matters and nothing that doesn't in this RV. That's what, it's just no nonsense. And it, from a service standpoint, they're as close to bulletproof as anything we have. The last two years running, passports have had the lowest um, percentage of warranty claims uh, of any of our lightweights. And that's a huge statement, guys. We're a big dealership. We carry 12 to 15 different brands of lightweights, depending on how you want to break it down. And these are the least problematic. That's big. Um, this is the driftwood decor, and this is a good time to mention, if you like everything in this video except for like maybe just the fabrics, chances are we got another one in stock. We sell a ton of passports, and this model is one of the very best selling of the family. So we usually have this thing on essentially like permanent reorder status, and that's our goal. We want to keep this fresh and, and rolling. We don't like our inventory to get old. We like to keep the newest things with the newest features out here for you guys, and that's what this represents right now. Um, next to your dinette, you have uh, just a, a perfect convertible storage space. It can be a closet, it can be a pantry, it can be linen space. These are all adjustable, so you can make it do whatever you want. That's your converter panel. Um, fuse box. If you're not familiar with that, it, that'd probably make sense if I call it a fuse box. Uh, we will come back to the kitchen, but I did want to back up just a step to give you just kind of a nice view of the living room from the other side of the coach. Here we have it. We'll come back in just a moment here. Great storage all the way, but you know what? This is something I do need to point out because I forget when I come the other direction. You can get to every ounce of the storage under the countertop here, and this is very, you know what? I'm talking about the kitchen. Let's just knock this out. Um, Let's start from the top and work down so I don't miss anything as I am prone to do. Passports have actual functional cabinets. A lot of lightweights don't. A lot of lightweights will scale down the size of their cabinetry uh, to make everything lighter. They'll push the, the cabinet doors back to make the trailer feel bigger. Well, you know, that's about the size of a dinner plate. You can see how big passport cabinets are. A lot of lightweights, you can't do that. So do the little microwave tray test, okay, guys? It fits right in there. Um, again, great countertop space here. You know, they, they made this little wraparound peninsula countertop, so the campsite cook can be here, and everyone just kind of funnels around them. No one really is on top of the cook this way. They do a 60-40 split sink. Some people think that's goofy. This is made for people that either park camp or dry camp. When you're uh, at a park uh, you're probably going to have water hookup. You're going to use the bigger sink. When you're dry camping, though, you don't want to burn up all your water in your holding tank, so you're going to re revert down to the small sink. That's why they do it. And they give you the sink cover standard so that you have even more functional space. We still have good uh, drawer space here for forks, spoons, knives, things like that. And I like how consistent everything is in its look. When you close this all up, everything has the same, the same look, the same size. There's a beautiful symmetry to this. And it's, it's just very eye-catching to me. This is a very middle neutral tone, but for some reason it's just really striking me as lighter in here. Um, I don't know why. I really like this, uh, this driftwood decor. Bathroom. Let's peek at the bathroom. Pretty utilitarian, but functional. Um, foot flush stool, by the way. And I've had people say, why didn't they put cabinet doors there? That looks tacky. Well, if you put a cabinet door here, how exactly are you going to open it if it would hit the toilet? That's some, that's the kind of thing people don't think about when they're just looking at a still photo. Um, so uh, even here in the bathroom, we have good LED lighting. Oops, there's a wall switch. Here we go. I should have known that. I talk about how passports have convenient wall switch lighting, then I just go on autopilot. Also, uh, protective shower wall paneling. Not all trailers have that, nor do all lightweight trailers uh, in this price point have medicine cabinets. Doesn't seem like a big deal. Take it for granted. But again, something you're going to use every single day. It needs to be there, guys. Otherwise, you're going to waste all that beautiful countertop space that you have in here. Um, the uh, rear area here gives you uh, all that uh, you know big private bunk space back here. All the kids are out of the way. And again, we have four bunks, not a triple bunk uh, with an outside kitchen. That's where this one's really cool that way. We also have awesome airflow windows throughout, central air uh, back here, great lighting, and even an entertainment center for the kids. But we have storage space for the kids' clothes and their stuff back here, which is a hard thing to come by. Um, spin it around. Again, another look at that super slide from the other direction. The We already knocked the kitchen out, so that's done. We will typically 
upgrade the air conditioner on these to a 15 instead of a uh, 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. Just depends on what they have in stock. We prefer to have the 15s, but um, sometimes we'll sell out of these so quickly. We have to call down to Passport and say, man, send us whatever you got as soon as you can get it. And once again, everything that matters, nothing that doesn't. 32 inch high def flat screen here. And notice that they're actually conscious enough to mount it on a swing arm so that when you're sitting in the dinette, it's facing you. You don't have to crane your neck sideways and give yourself a neck cramp after half a movie. Also, all-in-one, Bluetooth, DVD, CD, stereo, inside, outside speakers, anything and everything in between. It takes care of all of your entertainment needs in one shot. Now, uh, the uh, nice part about a passport is, again, the, the things that are important. Instead of curtains, they are doing pocket doors. You can see how they have those bracketed in place. They're not falling down on you. They're not falling all over the place. Um, I'm going to flip around to the other side here. One of the things I hear people say a lot is, I don't want my bed to come right up against the entertainment center. And I understand that because most trailers like this have a 74 inch short camper queen. This does not. This has an 80 inch true residential length queen. That's the difference. Tall people like me and Mr. Andrew Haichu's family have talked about all of them were my height. It was except mom. It was incredible. Dad was even bigger than me, but dad was taller than I am. I'm 6'3", and he could actually fit on this bed. That's the passport advantage. That's the, that's the difference between a true queen bed and a short camper queen. Um, the, you know, we've got great lighting even in here, his and hers wardrobe cabinets. Um, inside the, uh, here, you can actually mount another flat screen in that little alcove if you want so that you can have um, you know, nighttime entertainment for mom and dad if that's what you're uh, looking for. And on the sides of the bed platform, you can see we do have power outlets down here and a little stand for your CPAPs and your phone chargers and everything. Everything. That's the, that's what I keep. This has everything you need and nothing you don't. So why pay more for something? It's it. I mean, seriously, why pay more? This is proven reliable, has all the important equipment, has less weight than any of my other lightweights. This is the lightest of our lightweights and um, has a lower price tag. Passports are monsters, guys. I'm a huge fan, and they 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 earned it. I mean, trailer by trailer. Like when I when we first get a new brand, I'm always super sketchy about. Eh, let's see how this actually performs. You know, from a service standpoint, after we sell it, year after year, these things just keep proving themselves reliable, and that's my favorite part about them. Because when I take my family camping, I just want to go camping. I don't want to have to plan on the Monday trip to the shop to get it fixed. So. If you don't want to plan on a Monday trip to the shop to get fixed, look down here. If you're just on YouTube, it says click for pricing and availability. See if we've got the passport you're looking for. Let's put a deal together. And I don't care where you live. We can deliver these things to your front door, to your campsite. And remember that whether it ships from us to you or from the manufacturer to a local dealer, it still ships. So once again, why pay more? Give us a chance. We'll earn your business. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.